Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying some scales problems, or problems where we have a pan balance. It is like a seesaw, you know a seesaw? It can tilt one way or the other if one side is heavier. But in all these problems we are imagining that the two sides are equal. They have the same weight, so to speak. And you can think of these weights as in kilograms or in pounds, whichever way you prefer. But I'm just going to think of them as numbers, I'm used to that. And these pan balances or these scales are basically equations. They have unknowns. Here's an unknown shape or unknown weight. How much does it weigh? And that's a task to solve in all these problems. They're like puzzles, right? Oh, Matthew is getting excited. Puzzles. Now this first one is very easy. How much does this square weigh? It's equal to 9. And this whole balance here models for us the equation. If I use x, I would say x equals 5 plus 4. Okay, that's an easy one. Over here, can you tell how much this blue triangle weighs or is equal? On this side we have 10. On this side we have the triangle and 2. This side has to weigh 10 in total for the seesaw to be balanced. So this and this together are 10, so the triangle must be 8, right? That one was easy too. On this one, on this side we have 10, right? 4 plus 6 equals 10. On this side we have two circles, so one circle must equal 5. Yeah, you got it. This is easy. As an equation, this would be 4 plus 6 equals 2 times an unknown, 2 times x, 2 times a circle. Then this one, it's an easy one too, right? 15 on this side, so this side must also be 15. 3 of these is 15, so one of them, one triangle, must be 5. Over here we have a little bit more complicated situation, right? Now this side is easy, it's a total of 21. So this here must also weigh 21. Now think this way. All these circles together must weigh 20, right? Because this weight here is 1. So if 5 circles weigh 20, then 1 circle weighs 4. Yeah, you have to use your multiplication and division skills. And this time, let's check the equation, okay? By checking, I mean that, okay, if this is 4, I'm going to check if these two weights are actually equal. 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. That's 5 times 4. 20 plus 1. 21. 21. Yes, it checks. Now this one, Matthew, would you like to try it? Okay, he wants to try it. Can you tell the answer? Did you get 7 too? Is Matthew right? Let's check. Let's check Matthew's answer. On this side we have 20. Now if 7 is correct, 7 plus 7 plus 6. Yes, that's 22. It checks. Good boy. Now over here is our first time of having the unknown on both sides. Different. That's something new. And I'm gonna show you a little trick that makes it much easier. And that is that if we take away from both sides the same thing, then the pan balance is still going to be balanced. The scales are still balanced. If I take away one oval from both sides, then it will still be balanced. Okay? Because I took away the same thing from both sides. What's that, Matthew? Oh? Okay. Matthew wants to change the problem a little bit here. What's he going to do? What's he doing? I don't think it changed the problem. Oh, okay. They are blueberry cookies now. Oh, okay. All right. Two blueberry cookies on this side and one on that side. And like I said, if I remove one, one unknown from both sides, think of it as going away, then I would have the balance still balanced and this cookie equals three. Let's also check with the original equation. Three plus three and three plus three. Yes, they are equal. Next one, let's use this same trick. 
there's unknown shapes on both sides. So I'm gonna remove some from both sides, okay? That and that. And then one more. If those go away, then the scales are still balanced. And what I have left is one green ball and two and four on that side, okay? This side would need to also weigh four, right? So the ball and two makes four, so the ball is two. And let's also check. Now thinking of the original equation, how it was before I removed those balls, I would have had two, 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 that's eight. And here, two, two, four, that's eight, two. So yeah, it checks. This one is pretty easy too, I think. You try it on your own, okay? The first step again, because we have the unknowns on both sides, is to remove whatever we can, okay? Remove those and remove another pair. So nine left on that side, three triangles on that side. So one triangle must equal three. And then check, three, 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 five times three, 15. And here, Six and nine, 15. Yes, six. Again, try it on your own. Use the trick I told you about. We will remove some unknowns from both sides. That one and that one. And then this and this. And so what is left 13 here, so what is left here must also weigh 13, or be equal to 13. We have four balls and one. Okay, that means that those four balls must equal 12, right? So then we have 12 and one, 13. So four balls equaling 12, one ball must equal three. Again, the unknown equals three, and then let's check. 3 and 3, 13, that's 19. Over here, I have 6 times 3, that's 18, and 1, 19. Yeah, it checks. 